Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I was thinking of doing a continuation of my previous video, which was a first look and impression on the Modern Renaissance palette. I decided that I wanted to use some more of these shades within this palette to create another look for you guys. The previous look that I did incorporated a lot of the pinky hues and tones within this palette. And there are a whole bunch of brown tones, bronzy tones, as well as this orangey shade that I haven't used before. So before we get into the video, please subscribe to my channel and also give this video a like if you haven't already. I have just gone back into the groove of things and it feels great to be back and doing what I love. So if you guys do want to support me, then please subscribe to my channel and also leave me a big thumbs up on my videos. And um, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So like my previous video, I'm gonna do my eyes first and I'll be using the Modern Renaissance palette. There are all these bronzy brownie shades that, although I have used the transition shades and a lot of the pinky hues in this corner here, there's a lot of these brownie tones that I haven't used, so I was thinking of just doing kind of a, like a day to night, dinner by candlelight kind of look. It's a look where you can wear it out on a date, or even just out to hang out with friends. I just felt it would be fitting to incorporate these bronzy shades because now we have finally hit spring, and Ali has finally been blessed with 20 degrees and above sunny days, warm weather. So I really kind of want to pay tribute to that. <laughs> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyelids. I don't have a primer and I definitely don't like to use concealer on my eyelids. So I'm just going to go in with my face primer that I used in my previous video, which is the Ordinary High Adherent Silicon Primer. So my eyelids has been kind of dry recently, so I can get a smooth base for my eyeshadow. And then to set the primer in place, I'm just going to go into Golden Ochre and just go all over the lids with this, all the way up to the brow bone. Gone Ochre is very soft on my skin tone, so it doesn't actually show up as much, which is good, so I can use this as a starting shadow before I go into my transition shade. For my transition shade, I'm gonna be dipping into Raw Sienna, and I just start off by nestling this into my crease. I really have been enjoying the Modern Renaissance palette. It is so pigmented and a little bit goes a really long way. And the color range is perfect. It's perfect for a daytime look, a very nighttime look, natural and glam as well. So kudos to the Modern Renaissance palette. I was hoping to get my hands on the Subculture palette too. I know there have been negative reactions to Subculture palette, but I want to you know, figure it out for myself whether it actually works for me or not. So I just gotta wait for it to come into stock in Sephora or I probably could just buy it from Beauty Bay and just get it sent over from the UK. I'm kind of behind with like getting my hands on palettes and stuff. It's, it's especially because in Australia it's really hard to get your hands on certain products that comes out in the US first and then there's no Sephora in Adelaide so that's always really hard. Yeah, but hopefully Sephora will open up in Adelaide soon. Now to deepen up this crease, I'm gonna go in with Burnt Orange. Just lightly tap it on the brush. And this, I'm gonna nestle it a little bit lower than my crease, or more like just right in my crease. So on the topic of Beauty Bay, I recently just did a whole bunch of shopping on the website. There was sale for Jeffree Star, cosmetics, and also I topped up on some other new products from different brands. And I was thinking that within next week or so, because I'm not sure when my second shipment of the Beauty Bay package will come. The, my first package came today, which I'm waiting to open up. And the second package I think is coming next week. But when it does come, I'm going to do a Beauty Bay haul. And we'll just open all the products up. And then the video after that, I'm actually going to do a makeup look using just the products that I got from Beauty Bay. It's going to be interesting because it's going to be kind of a challenge because a lot of the products I bought are highlighters. So I might do a Sephora haul as well. I'm not sure when my Sephora package is coming either. But when it does come, I'm going to do a haul for both of them, Beauty Bay and Sephora. And then for the Sephora stuff, I might just do a first impression because for the Sephora stuff, I bought 
some Fenty Beauty products. So I don't know if I explained it in my previous video, but I did buy some Fenty Beauty products when I was shopping on Sephora. The first product I bought was the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in 330, which is tan warm. And I also bought a Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighting Duo. The one I got was Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal, which is the lightest of the four. And that was all I was planning to buy from Fenty Beauty. But then I decided that I'm, if I was going to do a face of Fenty Beauty products, but a review, first impression kind of thing, I kind of need a little bit more products. Uh, I was planning to buy Trophy Wise because that's the big, um, you know, the big highlight product of the whole collection, I guess. But unfortunately, it was sold out on the Sephora website, so I ended up buying another freestyle highlighting duo. And the one I got is Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I got this one because it's different from a lot of highlights I've seen around. It's very reddish tone, purpley tone, which I know from watching Jackie Aina's video, it's really good on darker skin tone. And I have a friend, Jean, who's way darker than I am. And I was thinking that that might look really good on her skin tone, but it would work really well as an eyeshadow as well. And then I also got the Shimmer Stick in Unicorn. It's such a beautiful, unique, purpley, holographic kind of look. And I also ordered the Trio Stick. The one I got is Medium Set, which is Bamboo, Mocha, and Tripping. I was looking at the swatches and Tan, which they had Caramel, Truffle, and Rum. Rum is beautiful and Truffle looks really uh, warm, but Caramel is very dark. And I don't think it would suit as a concealer for me because it probably is going to be darker than my skin tone. So I ended up stepping back to the lighter, the medium, which I think would suit my skin tone much better. So with a clean blending brush, I'm just going to go back into Raw Sienna lightly. And I'm just going to blend the edges of those two together. Whenever I do eyeshadow, it seems like this eye here gets so much darker than this eye. Because I think there's more of a definition to my crease here than there is over here. So to me, it always looks like it's not blended. Well, probably to you guys too, it probably doesn't look as blended. And usually I'm not a very big stickler for really blended eyeshadow. I like to look undone and kind of messy. It's really, I don't know. It's really attracted to me, like the whole messy, undone, not everything's perfect kind of look. But I know some people like to see fully blended eyeshadow and stuff, so sometimes I like to cater to you guys. <laughs> but most of the time, I'm just like, eh, it looks good enough to me. And then I will be going in with, I think I'll go with Warm Taupe. And I'm going to be taking this on a fluffier brush, but I want to take this all the way down onto my lid as well. So I'll just start on my lid and build it up into the crease. And then to blend those two together, I'm just gonna go back with my other brush that I use for Burnt Orange. And I'm just gonna go back through that crease. And then I'll go back in with that clean brush before and just soften everything out. And now to just darken up my lash line in this inner corner, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and with Cypress Umber, which is the darkest brown up here. I'm just gonna pat this right into this little outer section and along my lash line. And then using the brush that I use with the, with the warm toe, I'm just gonna go a little bit into the warm toe and use that to softly blend it out. And then because I kind of lost my transition shade, I'm just gonna go back in with burnt orange and raw sienna on the same brush. And just... I gotta say, these Morphe brushes that I bought, it's a, it's the vegan set, so there's 18 of them are really soft and they feel really great on the eyes which is a bonus because some of the brushes I had previously for the eyes and the face are very very scratchy and it would irritate my skin and also my eyes so I never really wanted to do an eye look as much but now that I got these Morphe brushes oh my god it's like rubbing a dog's tail on your face <laughs> it's so soft and then just getting the clean brush and just blending out all of those edges so the shadow that I was thinking of putting onto this inner corner section of my eyes, the last one I used was this antique bronze, which is a very soft, mauvey purple. I was thinking of Primavera or Vermeer. This one kind of looks like a Primavera. 
Primavera look. So let me just get a flat brush and I'm gonna wet the brush so I have, so I'm able to pick up a bit more pigment. And then using the blending brush, I'm just gonna go back into Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna and just kind of diffuse that line up top. Now I'm gonna clean up under my eyes just to get any product out and also to just sharpen up this line right there. And then to start off my base, I'm just gonna use the same primer as before. And then for foundation, I'll be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. This is in Y385. And then shaking it up to just get all the product mix and the pigment up. Mm, start blending. I'm gonna use another pump and a half. Just to get my problem areas down my neck. This foundation is looking a little bit too yellow on my skin. So with my foundation on, I'm going to go onto brows and I'll just be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And I'll just fill in my brows like normal. And then to contour, I'll be going in with my contour kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's going to be a light contour today. And just lightly down the, sim down the sides of my nose. And then I'm quickly just going to powder with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Now that I powdered it, I'm going to be putting on this top blush called Party. It's that Amazonian clay 12 hour blush. It's standard kind of color. Ooh. I'm just going to tap into it lightly. I'm more focusing on the high points of my face than on my apples. So for highlight, I have a new highlight that I really want to try. I want to kind of save it for when I do my Sephora unboxing and haul because I bought this off Sephora. But because I have so many highlighters coming in with my Beauty Bay haul, I decided that I'm just gonna, you know, stuff it and just use this highlight in this video. So what I bought was the Winter Strobe Spectrum from Zoeva and it comes in four different pretty um, cool, you know, like pastel kind of shades. Just open it. This is my first time opening it. Ooh. So it's these three, four, four shades. So there's a pinky, lavender, kind of like a, it's not really minty, it's more blue and this one's kind of a pinkish champagne colour and this one's like a white frost I'm gonna swatch it so this is how it looks a strange hand placement but um, the blue is very vivid as you can see and then this colour is a it's kind of white, but a bit greeny in this light, if you can see. I really am drawn to this color right here, this purpley color. But I don't think it will go with what I have on my eyes. Unless I pat this over the top, maybe. No, I think I'll go with this color here. Just so it ties in with the overall theme of this look. So for highlight, I'm just going to dip into this one right here on the fan brush. This one has a pinkish tone to it, which looks really nice on camera. And I think just for the fun of it, I'm just going to go into this purple and do my other side. Because they're very, they're not very pigmented in colour. They're very blinding in their shimmery shininess. But the colour itself, the tone they're in, is very subtle. So 
So these two kind of match. They don't look that different. And then on my nose, I'm going to get a small brush. Get a small brush and I'm going to go into this colour right here. Tip of my nose. Okay, that's much more pigmented than I thought. It's really nice though. I think I'll go in my cubist bow with this color too. But I think for my inner corners, I'm gonna go with the blue. It might be too much, but hopefully it's not. Well, these colors aren't gonna suit each other, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm in love. So highlight done. I'm gonna do the under eye, and I'm gonna go back into I'm gonna go back into burnt orange. And then in my outer corner, I'm gonna go in with Cyrus Armor, which is that dark color. I feel like to balance this out, I'm gonna put. Primavina, just along the middle section. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with this two-step mascara, which is from L'Oreal, and it's called the False Lash Superstar X Fiber or Times Fiber, and it's a two-step. So which one's the first step? This one. The thing I don't like is this wand. If you can see, it kind of it's like a figure eight kind of shape. So it's bigger the top and the bottom but the middle is like skinny so it's really hard to get my lashes into the, this brush I don't know why they design it like that and then the second step is the fibers this brush is cool it's big but it has a curve to it so it goes onto the eyes really well the lashes I'm gonna put on is not very dramatic so the band is actually really thin so the lashes I'll be using today are these lashes right here and they are from an Australian company called Lash Warriors who create these mink lashes that are influenced or inspired by Australian YouTubers and beauty bloggers slash gurus. So that I think is pretty cool. They are situated up in Darwin which is Northern Territory and they do these are really amazing lashes. It's so soft and so natural looking but still give you that definite flair. But they do have a whole other set of lashes that are much more dramatic. These lashes are just very wispy and very small, if you can see. It's A01. I'm not sure who influenced these lash. So, once I find out, I'll put it down below. But, I'm sorry, I just don't know who was the influence or, ins or the inspiration behind these lash. So now with lashes on, I'm going to be putting mascara on my bottom lashes. I'm going to be using brow gel. This is the... Monaco one. For lips, I'll be using the Jeffree Star Ammunition, and this is in Unicorn Blood. Mmm. Pigmented. I mean, it kind of is a little streaky because it's a creamy formula, but it's very pigmented for a creamy formula. And final step is just to set my face. I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter. And this here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I enjoy making this video so much because I was able to incorporate more colours that I haven't really used within the Modern Renaissance palette. Don't forget to subscribe and leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's any looks you guys want me to do or if you just want to chat. So all my social media are linked down below in the description box. So if you want to follow me and get to know me better, then definitely go down there and check me out. And that's all for this video. So until next time, bye.